we are out pike fishing tonight and night fishing as you perhaps know it's really good for trout as well so i made some smaller pike flies like this one it is shorter than the size of my palm and it's black and purple with some flash and i just hope that one day i will be able to catch a nice brown trout on this i just sat and had that in mind when tying this fly i had a big pike following this as well so it definitely works for it tied on the saltwater series the the blue water hook in 2-0 so <laughs> it can handle anything out of this hook it's crazy before we go on with the video i want to explain something the scenario that we have in front of us is the most magical you can imagine dead flat surface in schoner happens very rarely perfect to make a video but due to that I've been sick for the last two weeks, I did not plan to make a video. But luckily, I had the camera on me at least. Because what it recorded is simply a priceless piece of memory I will always come back to and enjoy. Hope it will spark some emotions in you as well when you watch this. So today I'm on my way out with Daniel. We're going night fishing on the football field that we call it, which is the pike spot near Schoenayork. It's uh, yeah, the same place that we filmed the Mountain Mamas episode. And we are fixed here. Fisk? Ser en meterkedda. Kanske 90. Fan vad sjukt. Det är precis vad jag har sett när jag var där. Ja. Och de hugger så jävla oh, aggressivt. Jo, jo. Vilken örig. Va? Örig. Har du där? Ja. En skitfin öring. Vad såg du den? Va? Ja. Jag har öringflugan på för fan. Va? Jag har öringflugan på. Åh oh, fan. Ja. 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 Det, det där öring. Oh my god. Oh, den är större va? Ja ja. Ja ja. Eller var det? Fram med hoven. Ja, ja. Fram med hoven. Ja ja, för fan. Jag är med. Och det är fin öring va? Ja, om det är öring så. Oh, jag tyckte det verkligen såg ut som en öring. Den är ja, oh, stor. Och är det öring? Jag tror det. Det ser ut. Det looks like that on the thing. Men det är fast med Ja, jag är med. Jag är med. För helvete, jag är med. Åh, oh, fan. Åh, oh, fan. Ja! Jag, jag sa ju det. Jag sa ju det. Oh, jäklar. Oh, that's among my biggest trout in Shawnerk ever. I think I'm gonna step up my trout game with this fly. It's a little bit difficult in such a big net, but here we have it. Incredible brownie, 62 centimeters. Saw it rising, and I threw out the fly. Oh, now I'm gonna let it go. Okay. Yeah, there. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is so great. When tying a pike fly intended to also work for trout, it is quite an odd thing to choose a pure saltwater hook. And it's not just any saltwater hook, it's the Eryx Blue Water Hook. This hook is absolutely insane. Very, very strong wire and it's thick. I got to know this hook from tarpon fishing and other tropical species. I tried normal pike hooks for the tarpon actually and there was just no way. In the take the hook point was totally bent out. 
this hook is incredibly strong and I actually put a lot of pressure on pike in certain scenarios like if I hook into a big pike in vegetation I just want to be able to drag it out there as quick as I can and then I want to have a hook that I rely on therefore I chose that hook uh, in 4.0 hooks are generally much stronger than in 2.0 so when I made a smaller version here of pike ply I wanted a really strong wire here you can see I've started to add some uh, bucktail and uh, this first bunch determined how long you want the actual fly. The next coming sections will be shorter and shorter. The first one here, underneath I add some super glue just to prevent the fly from tangling. This works really well actually. Hold it until it's set. This is flashable in black that I use. Double folded for it to last. So take half as much as you want because you're gonna fold it and make it twice the amount. It's really hard to charge the length of the flash boo, so it matches or go just past the bucktail, but it's easy to trim it afterwards. And I go on with the next bunch and I always cut them in full length, so you will see as well that they get shorter because there's more flare going forward now that I will cut away. So this one is a few centimeters shorter. Cover it with the thread wraps, seal the whole thing, and add the next bunch of flash up glue. Spread it around the whole hook this time. Third bunch of bucktail, significantly shorter this time. Give it a good spread and tight thread wraps before you're able to trim off the excess and cover with thread wraps. You can see here I'm using a clamp between each step here is just to be able to have everything under control so the flight time just go much smoother when you talk about big streamers like this going forward I also cut the flash boo in half before I used it double folded so it in sections will be shorter and shorter this bunch of bucktail is just in the very front so I want it to be just the tips pretty much to build this fish shape you need to do this to finish off the head of the fly I'm using crop fur in black I tie it in reverse. When you tie it in reverse, it is easiest to get a nice front. I learned this from Andreas Andersson when he ties his crop for bait fish. He always ties it in forward because now when you can, when you put your thread wraps, these are the last thread wraps you will do on the fly. These are when the crop fur is still standing forward. You do these thread wraps and do a finishing knot
cut off the thread and the fly is done. All you need to do now is reverse the material and you have the material going all the way to the hook guy. Here the give it a good brush and here the hand hair clamps come becomes really handy as well when you're gonna attach the eyes and put on the UV resin. I use super glue to attach all my all my eyes. You need to be quick though, it super glue well it cures fast. So having the eye ready on a needle is really key. But it is a risk to mess it up, so you can use something that dries slower if you feel like. I got used to it after quite many hundreds of streamers. Gold Flexman, absolutely the best UV resin I've come across for tying pike flies. When it is flexible, it lasts so much better for pike. It is a little bit more difficult to, to get a nice head with the Flexman because it's very the consistency of it is a bit different, so it floats away. You need to be able to build it in small, small steps. But there you get a long-lasting, really good fly for pike and trout.